Hey guys, welcome to Just Average. Today I'm gonna to be testing out Twisted Dough. It's an edible, guilt-free, gluten-free protein cookie dough. I'm super excited about it. I saw an ad on TikTok and there's a bunch of girls that make it and they seem really cool and awesome and I'm excited to give it a try. No hate if I don't like it. This is just my honest review from just an average person like me. Um, my daughter and my husband are gonna be joining me to help me test all of these so we get a mix of opinions and I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, it's me, Amanda. <laughs> and it's me, Josh. <laughs> and we got Brooklyn. In the house. We're trying out Twisted Dough. And we ordered six different flavors. And this is our honest review. I've never had it before. I don't eat super clean. So there's that. All right, the first one we are trying is peanut butter and jelly. And this one is the one I'm most excited about. Wait, smell test? I think it it smells, smells like weird peanut butter and jelly. No, it smells normal. It, it smells, smells like, like goober. Uh, After you get this like peanut Go. It's really thick. Hmm. I like it. The flavor tastes bad. No, the flavor's good. It's okay. What would you give it? Seven. I'd give it a four. Five or six out of ten. It tastes peanut buttery. The jelly's okay, but you can tell it's like a healthy peanut butter. Yeah. It, it's like almost chemically tasting yeah. a little bit. But it's not bad. I think it's, if you're trying to be healthy, it's a good alternative. All right. Next up is called Brookie. It is brownie and cookie. I'm actually really excited about this one too. Oh, it has Oreos oh, on top. Yeah, Oreos. I think it almost looks like melted frosting, kind of. Smell test. It smells. It smells, it smells like. Smells um, good. Yeah, it does smell really good actually. What does it smell like? Oreo. It smells like raw cookies <laughs> or like raw yeah, brownies. It, yeah, it smells like raw dough, which makes sense. All yeah, right. like raw cake batter. Yeah. Oh yeah, raw cake <clears> batter. Ready? Taste test. Go. I like that one. <laughs> what? It's so awful. Really? Oh my god, I give this a two. It tastes like really? it, it tastes, tastes like, like pure chemicals. It's awful. It tastes like raw cake batter. Oh I like my it. god. So yeah, I agree. This tastes like raw cake batter, but if you're into that, mm -mm. I think it's really good. Mm -mm. Do you... I do see that it does taste like chemicals. Cake batter's good. <laughs> it's not good. I mean, it does have a chemical taste, but it's not... It's awful. I don't know. I really... It's awful. I think it's magic. Mm. I really like it. The only good part about it is the cookie. The Oreo? Yeah. Mm. I like... Ugh. What do you rate it, Brooke? Uh, 6 out of 10. I give it a 7 out of 10. What? Yeah. And what did you give it? A 2. Hmm. It does so, taste a lot, a lot chemically though. I honestly thought the peanut butter and jelly tasted more chemically. No, the peanut butter and jelly. Is All right, so Brookie, we got a seven out of ten, six out of ten, and a two out of ten. So I guess it just depends on what you like. Next up, ooh, I was excited about this one too. This one is chocolate peanut butter. It looks like there's like chunks of like almost Reese's peanut butter cups in it. I think it's Butterfinger. Is it? Maybe I don't know. There you go, Brooke. All right, smell test. No, I think it's Reese's, because look at the sides. Yeah, it looks like a peanut butter cup. Oh, it smells like peanut butter. Yeah, it smells like a peanut butter this cup. This one smells better smells than the good. peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, this this peanut butter smells like a real- Actual peanut butter. Like a sweet peanut butter, like in a peanut butter cup, almost. Ready, set, go. Mm. This one's good. Oh my God, that one is so good. I don't care what he says, it's good. It doesn't have a chemically taste at all, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, that one by far. I would eat that all the time in my fat beast mode, not being healthy. I give it a 9.5 out of 10. Me too. 9.5? Mm hmm. Six. 
What? I didn't think it tastes bad, but I didn't think it tastes as good as you guys are making it out to be. No, that no, tastes good. It tastes good. Like, I would eat this all the time. It tastes exactly like real peanut butter. Yeah. It's good. It is really good. It's not bad. This does not taste like a guilt-free, low-cal dough. It tastes... You should tell how much calories are in it. Oh, yeah. So, this has 201 calories per serving, and a serving is... Eight tablespoons. That's not bad. It was good. Yeah, I like that. that was my, my that favorite. That was my favorite, yeah. Yeah, that was um this one is cinnamon blondie. Um it was Josh's pick. So let's try this one out. Ooh, it's liquidy. It's is like, it supposed to be liquidy? Yeah, it's almost like a caramel consistency. It's supposed to be Ooh. like that. Yeah. And it smells Are you sure? Yeah. yeah, it smells super cinnamony. Oh, I don't like that it's liquidy. That throws me off. It's like, like a thick caramel. It is. Yeah. Mm. So I guess we'll uh, we'll see what that. How is that supposed to be cookie dough? I don't know. Cookie dough isn't like that. Does it smell good? It smells like cinnamon. Yeah. I can. It does smell like cinnamon, but it smells good actually. I love cinnamon. I love the smell of cinnamon. I'm not a huge cinnamon person, but... Gonna... Alright, you guys ready? Yeah. It's leaking. Go. I don't know how I feel about it. I like that one. It tastes like a snickerdoodle. It tastes like... It tastes like pure cinnamon. It tastes like a cinnamon roll with, like, the middle part of the cinnamon roll that's, like... The cinnamon row part. You know what I'm talking about? No, like the gritty part of the cinnamon roll that's dark. That it tastes just like what's in like the cinnamon part of the cinnamon roll. I like it, but when you first bite into it, it's really overwhelming because it's a lot of it's cinnamon. Str yeah, it's super, super strong. Um I think it's fine, but it's what do you rate it? An eight. Hmm. I rate it an eight too. Really? Yeah. Um you need more spoons. Yeah. I give it a... Okay, so I'm really torn. It tastes... It did not taste chemically. It did not taste super, like, healthy and full of chemicals. Um, but it was just super strong. So I just don't know how I feel about it. Yeah. Five out of ten. It's not bad. I'm just not a huge cinnamon person. But it was good. All right. The next one is called confetti cupcake and this was josh's pick but i'm actually really excited about this i love like funfetti stuff Ooh, smells like a vanilla candle this one's like very chunky yeah i like it thick and chunky it has a lot of sprinkles in it it's loaded with sprinkles i don't know if you can see it it does smell like a vanilla candle yeah it sounds just like a vanilla candle i don't know how i don't know i was just gonna say i don't know how I feel oh about, it does uh, how i feel about eating a vanilla candle but I mean, look how many sprinkles. Oh, so many. It smells good. It's just like, like very, a candle. Yeah, very yeah. like a candle. Texture's thicker on this too. Oh yeah, it's very. I mean, <clears throat> these are all refrigerated, so um, it might be different if they're like room temperature. But you're supposed to keep them refrigerated. But this one's definitely super thick. All right, ready, set, go. It tastes like you're eating a vanilla candle. Exactly. Ew, it I hate horrible. this. So initially it tastes like sprinkles and kind of okay, like cake batter. And then it has the most awful aftertaste. Oh, I God. would rate this right. I almost think it's worse than Brookie. Oh yeah. And I rated that as a two. Uh-uh. That's not good. That is like a Ooh. negative five. It tastes exactly like a vanilla candle. It tastes like you're eating straight up chemicals. Yeah. It's horrible. Oh, it tastes it like you're eating perfume. Such a bummer because I thought that was going to be a good one. This one looked so good and sounded so good. I give it a 1 out of 10. I agree. I it's, I Can I give it a 0? I give yeah. it a negative 5. I think that's five. the worst one. Mm -hmm. I think this one, honestly, I think this might get thrown in the trash. Like, <clears throat> maybe it's a 0. I wouldn't eat this again. It tastes really bad. Straight up chemicals. 
yeah, that was, that one's bad guys. These are our honest opinions. We bought these full price. It's not sponsored. I'm not trying to be mean. I think just, they're really expensive. Yeah, they're really expensive. Yeah, these containers are actually really small. They're eight all. ounce containers. <clears throat> and they're and they were, 15 bucks a piece. I mean, if you're in super health mode and you're trying to, you know, get buff and mm -hmm. you want some protein and nope. some sweets, there's a couple of these that were okay. I'd rather have a halo top. I feel like I'm going to poop my guts out. <laughs> <laughs> this one is Butter Crunch. Josh was super excited about this. It's supposed to be like a, a Butterfinger Toffee type one. I mean, I don't really, it doesn't really have smell, at least to me. It's, it's like a creamy, mm. like a creamy peanut butter texture. It's not super thick, but. <gasps> so. It smells it's like sweet. peanut butter, but not very strong. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it smells, it smells fine, really just not that good. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm not scared after the cupcake. It tastes like old Halloween candy. Like <laughs> two year old Halloween candy. I don't really like it. I feel like it tastes like protein from 1990. Yeah, it tastes old. Hmm. I don't know Like it I doesn't taste it. like good, but I don't think it's unedible. I think this one's unedible. Oh, 100%. I can't eat that no. one. I really like the texture of this one. It's really like creamy and smooth. And then there's some chunks of like toffee, I guess. I don't like that. I feel like it's really muted. Like it's not strong. The only flavor I taste is like chemicals kind of. Mm. Yeah. It, it reminds me of a chalky protein bar. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a chalky protein bar, peanut butter protein bar. So I mean, if, like I think we could eat this one it was fine, but I didn't love it. What'd you guys rate it? A four. I'd a three. Agree, I'd, well, yeah, I'd agree with. A three or four? Yeah. I'd give it a three or four too, honestly. I could eat it, but I wouldn't like choose to eat it. My favorite by far was the chocolate peanut butter. This one was so good. That's my favorite too. Yeah. My, my favorite is the cinnamon one. Mm. Oh. Right. I think that would be probably my second choice. My second choice would be the peanut butter one. My third choice would be peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. My third choice would be Brookie. <clears throat> and then I don't really like any of these last three. The peanut butter and jelly was okay. So I think the only ones I really, really didn't like was confetti. Okay. As we all agreed, that one was horrible. And then the butter crunch was just so good. There's a lot of other flavors on their website. And I'd be interested to try some of the other ones to see. No. Um, I don't think any of them are really worth $15 for this. I mean, it's, it's tiny. Um, in my opinion, the chocolate peanut butter one was really good. I'd probably buy that again. It was expensive, but if I was in super fit mode, I'd probably pay for that. But the rest of them, not worth it in my opinion. I think in general, they all have like a very chemically taste. So I don't, like most of them yeah. just you don't can... taste that pleasant. Because it's guilt-free, gluten-free, high protein, low calorie, you can taste the chemicals. Yeah. I didn't really taste it in the chocolate peanut butter, but I forgot No, I didn't taste it in the I didn't taste it in the chocolate peanut butter, but the rest. You... Except I don't think the cinnamon one had a chemical taste either. No, it didn't actually. The cinnamon was super strong in that one. So all you could taste was cinnamon. That's true. Well, that was our honest review and opinion of Twisted Dough, um, the guilt-free, gluten-free, low-cal, high-protein, edible cookie dough. It was all right. If you got money and you want to spend it and you're eating good, then have at it. But just for an average person like me, probably not going to do it again. Bye!